Donald Trump hates his judge. His name is Gonzalo Curiel. He's worried that Judge Gonzalo Curiel can't be impartial because he has Mexican heritage, and Trump loves insulting Mexicans. They're bringing drugs, they're bringing crime, they're rapists. Well, look, justice is important, and everyone deserves to feel like they're getting a fair trial. Now, there are 16 other judges in California's Southern District where the trial is going to be held. Certainly, Donald Trump hasn't insulted all of them, right? Take Judge Marilyn Huff. Trump hasn't said anything that might bias this woman against it. You know what? The women get it better than we do, folks. Yeah, I mean, sure, that's... Sure, we'll uh, knock her out. That's that's bad. But uh, uh, what about Judge Cynthia Bashan, who uh, was appointed... I mean, I'd look her right in that fat, ugly face of hers. Blood coming out of her, wherever. She got schlunged. Okay, well, look, let's probably just go ahead and lose all the women. That's all right. There are still a lot of judges left. We'll count out Judge Roger T. Benitez, because he's also Latino. <laughs> And Judge John Houston is black. And Judge Dana Makoto Sabra's mother was born in Japan, so... Negotiating with... with Japan. They say, we want deal! Still though, that's almost half the judges that Donald Trump hasn't insulted outright. We're going to find him someone impartial. It won't be Judge Anthony Battaglia, because he was appointed by President Obama, so you know Trump can't trust him. Barack Obama has been the worst president ever. And Judges Jeffrey Miller, Thomas Wellen, M. James Lawrence, and Barry Moskowitz were appointed by President Clinton, and you know, Trump and Clinton. What Clinton's done. Groping and fondling and touching against a woman's will. And rape. And rape. So, that leaves us with Judge William Hayes, Judge Michael Anello, Judge Larry Allen Burns, and Judge William Brenner Enright. Have you ever heard a list of names that sound so judge-like in your life? We will find one in here. Look at Judge Hayes. He's best known for presiding over Bosley Medical Institute v. Kremer. Bosley. The hair plug people. Not Trump's man. What about Judge Anello? Oh, he was in the Marines, Donald in the military. Not Trump's man. Now. Here's Judge Burns. He's a social conservative who was first appointed by President Bush. This could be great for Trump. His most famous verdict was uh, ruling that the Mount Soledad War Memorial Cross in San Diego had to come down. Though I suppose Trump's bread and butter is putting up garish eyesores. Okay, that leaves us with just one judge. William Brenner Enright. Let's see. He was appointed in 1972 by Richard Nixon, a paranoid egomaniac. Which might actually be great for Trump. He's the namesake for the William Enright American Inn of Court. Inn of Court. Trump's in the hotel business, that's good. He was born in New York City. Trump's a New York City guy. Donald, we found your man. You want William Brenner Enright. Unless it turns out he likes Diet Coke. Or corn. Or Kristen Stewart. Or newspapers or other judges. His name is Gonzalo Curio. Dude, I'm doing my best here. Also, apparently it can't be a Muslim. Hey, it's Grant from College Humor. Click here to subscribe to the channel. Click here for more fun stuff. And, sorry, guys, it feels like I'm out. Am I out? I, Cause I can like, I can see the top of the camera. So it's, I, it, I, is this better? All right, it, it feels worse. Okay, uh, thanks for watching.